Hey, hey, what's going on, my Fulton Elementary School Music Jedi's, my Cedar Lane Music Jedi's? What's going on? Mr. Neil's back. I miss you guys. Wow, we're not uh, going back to school. That's that, that, oh man, I'm sad about that. I'm not going to get to see you guys before summer, but um, that's okay. We still want to learn. We still want to have fun. All right, so this week, um, it's about just relaxing. Um, going to do some interviews this week. Um, like I said, we're working on production. I'm going to show you guys how to produce music. Um, still have to find a decent program, a free program, um, for everyone to use um, in regards to um, producing the music. But we'll worry about that later. Right now, um, I want you to meet a couple of friends of mine. Um, these are world-renowned people. Um, they're producers, DJs, um, and they're going to take you through, you know, just give you some insight on their, you know, perception in regards to their process in regards to producing music, you know, what they do, and, you know, just to hopefully it'll give you some insight and hopefully you will enjoy. I got my mentor, Tommy Davis, he's the one that brought me into the music industry, um, got my man, um, producer DJ Blaine Ashmore, he's on my label, he's one of my label mates. Um, I have my man Jeffrey C, who started out at WEBB back in the day, long before y'all were thought of. <laughs> you know, that and uh, WPGC, and we mixed together, we DJ together with 92Q. And last but not least, um, one of my closest friends, my brother, um, DJ Spin, Sean Spencer, alias DJ Spin. Um, you heard his music, or your parents heard his music. Girl, you know it's true. Um, you know, Millie Vanilli. Um, and it's funny because the group he was in, New Marks, um, his partner was Kevin Lyles. That's right, Kevin Lyles it was the president of Def Jam. Um, Russell Simmons' right-hand man was DJ Spin's boy. Like, he's from Baltimore. He's one of us. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to um, get into these interviews, and um, hopefully it will motivate you. Hopefully you will enjoy them and learn them, and, and next week we'll be ready to get into some production, okay? All right, I love you guys. Miss you guys, all right? Okay, here we go with the interviews. Hey kids, I'm Thomas Davis, and I'm a producer, songwriter, uh, what you might call beats maker, label exec, executive producer. But to understand exactly what I do, you have to understand where I come from. I come from being a producer that made my own music. So you can do that. Anyone can do that. You can make your own music nowadays. You can go get software programs. You can put it on there. But a producer is the guy that produces the whole thing. Now, when I, I want you to use the analogy that a producer is like a chef. So a chef wants to make a cake. So he gets eggs, milk, butter, and sugar. Mixes it all together and bakes the cake. But a producer is the guy that knows how to get the sugar, the butter, the flour, and the cake. He can do it himself. Or he could get someone else to do it. A producer doesn't have to be hands-on. A producer is the guy that puts the whole thing together. Now, nowadays, most people are all in one. But a producer is just the guy that makes the cake. He doesn't have to get flour on his hands. He doesn't have to go out and buy sugar or eggs or anything like that. I want you to understand that a producer is the guy that does to find the whole product together. So over the years, I've done some major label productions on Warner Brothers, MCA, CBS. But it all started with being producer with some friends of mine. Because guess what? The best way to do something is with teamwork. You get people that are good at what they do. And y'all put it all together and you get a production. So I'm, some of my achievements have been with Basement Boy Productions, Crystal Waters, and many, many more. Many, 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 many more. Right now I'm the governor of the Grammys Recording Academy in DC. So I do a lot of things. 
But basically, if you look up a resume, it's going to say producer. But I'm a producer, songwriter, beats maker, DJ, several things. I work with musicians, guitar players, bass players, sometimes just all the software. The idea of production is to just do everything to get the production done. That doesn't mean you have to be hands-on. For example, suppose you're thinking like, I want to make a record. You know how you do that? You go find the people that give you the means to do it. Suppose you don't have the software. Suppose you don't know how to do it. Find someone that does. And you work with them. That makes you the producer or co-producer with them. The job is not a difficult job and not unless you don't see the final change. Got it? Good luck doing everything you do. I'm, again, I'm Tommy Davis. You can Google me at T-H-O-M-M-Y Davis and you'll see a lot. All right, good luck with your endeavors. Peace. What's up, y'all? This is DJ Blaine. I've been doing this for a little over a decade now. During that time of DJing, I've been through like three or four cities, going to their venues, playing at various different events there, till I finally ended up near the Hartford, Connecticut area, where I've got this. And I'm gonna stay here for a long time because it is something good and it's something stable. So, while my DJing has gotten nice and stable, I decided to branch out, do some production. And during some of my uh, travels in a couple of different cities, I went to a school that specializes in, you know, quality sound, listen, listening, what to listen for. Uh, I even had a class where all you, all you do is just sit there and the instructor plays the music. And you have to pick out every instrument, the number of instrument, whether they're acoustic or electronic. Yeah, that's about it. And that's, and that's hard enough as it is. So, you know, when you do production, you should know your instruments, of course. And you should listen for things that there are some common mistakes. Like these instruments here. You want to make sure they never go into the red, all right? Never, ever, never, never. Because the issue with that is you'll start clipping. And when you're clipping, you'll introduce sounds that don't belong to the signal. And then, you know, you lose your clarity. Another thing that I do, I always have an intro beat. Because for DJs like me, cause, you know, because of my background, I like the fact that I can blend one song into another with a beat that I can grab onto and it makes for a seamless transition. And everything else, listen to Neil, because he's been doing this for like way longer than I have. And your instructor put out something worldwide the whole world loved it like like the first thing he did it's like he woke up one morning it's like BAM there we go we love it the whole world does it was all over MTV that gypsy woman that was something but yeah I mean that's just a couple of basic things keep it out the red me, my preference is to start out with an intro beat. Um, oh, when you work with the artist, work with the artist, the singer. Because the more natural that they are working with you, the better the end result will be. There's no tension, there's no, you know, there's nothing, no off keys, nothing like that. People are comfortable working with you, and you, you get more repeat business, and you get a better result. So hey, that's about what I have to share. 
Oh yeah, one more thing. I keep this handy. Just in case I forget something. Because you never know at all, and sometimes you forget. So, now, the basic things you're learning, hold on to this, because it'll serve you well in the long run. All right? Have fun, everyone. Enjoy the music. Peace. Hey, this is Jeffrey C. I own Edge Mix Productions. Welcome to my studio. <laughs> I hope you all are doing well during this crazy pandemic. I know it's just insane, but stay safe, stay home, and do the right thing. But I'm here to kind of break the monotony of this crazy pandemic and share with you some music. I'm quite sure you've heard music all the time. You've you probably heard music all your life. Your parents play music. Your friends play music. You hear music on TV. You hear it on the internet. You hear it everywhere, right? And maybe some of you have wondered, well, how do we do it? How do we put the music together? Well, I'm here to show you that right now. In fact, I'm going to show you something special called a mashup. Now, what is a mashup? A mashup is two or more of your favorite songs mashed together or combined together. I'm going to share that with you right now. This is going to be a mashup of two songs you might know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and switch around here and let's see if I could switch. I don't know if I could do it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so I have two songs right here that you might know. Here's one song. You probably heard this when you were kids. Or you have a br brother or sister, baby brother or sister. Yeah. Okay, so that is, of course, you know, Baby Shark. Now, what I'm going to play for you is this next song. I want to mash that up with this one right here. And let me see, play that one. Okay, so that is the challenge. I'm going to mash those two songs up, okay? So let me share with you a process that I do. Now, first thing I do is gather the songs I want to mash up. So I've done that. Just two songs in this demonstration, okay? Second thing I usually do in my process is clean up any kind of noise. If I get it from a record or something like that, clean up all the scratches and just all the stuff that you don't need because you want to make the recording sound clean. It's got to be clean, okay? And write everything down too. I have a process that I write everything down so I can keep track of what I do. Now, get the tempo or how fast a song is. Now, Baby Shark is a lot faster than the other track right here. It's about 115 beats per minute, if you want to know. And this song right here, called Don't Rush, is 108 beats per minute. So I have to make them, I have to make them the same tempo or they'll go off beat. So I'm going to show you what I have done. Okay, and bear with me for a minute. Here we go. 
This is my other workstation. And I have combined these songs together. And here we go. Now, remember the songs, right? You have them in your mind, right? Okay. Here we go. to do a mashup. Now, I have taken Baby Shark, slowed it down, because it was real fast, you know, just slow it down, as you've heard here. It was in a different key. So I, so I changed the key to match the beat, okay? And finally, I put everything together, and I did copying and pasting sort of like taking scissors and cutting a piece of paper well i had some virtual scissors and i copied and pasted these parts right there there's one part and then i cut them into tiny little parts and these little tiny parts go do 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 and I combine them all together. That's pretty much it. Of course, after that, combine all the sounds together. When you combine it, mixing it down. Mix down the track, and you're good to go. You can put it on your flash drive. You can put it on your Droid. You can put it on your iPhone, iPod, iPad. Or if you're old school... From back in the day, CD. <laughs> hey, I really appreciate you joining me. Thank you for keeping me company. I hope you found this interesting and I uh, found it really fun to do for you all. So you all take care. All right. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. What's happening? My name is DJ Spin. I am a DJ producer from Baltimore. Uh, I started out DJing in 1982 uh, when I was 13 years old and um, actually founded a hip-hop group uh, out of Baltimore called The New Marks, um, which was a five-man DJ crew. A um, couple of us end up being MCs, etc. So um, that's what we kind of did back in 1982. Um, I guess our claim to fame with that group uh, was this record called Girl You Know It's True, which was later uh, recorded by Millie Vanilli um, and was made a multi-platinum big old hit record um, that uh, we were the guys that originated. Um, from that, I moved on into uh, working with the Basement Boys, working with my man Neil Conway, Tommy Davis, and Teddy Douglas. Um, we ended up doing quite a few really really good records um and uh that was like a really fun era and then uh i moved on to uh co uh to be the co-founder actually of code red recordings along with uh, a partner that i had back then named gary dean and then um moved on from that to running 
and operating quantized recordings with my man Tommy Davis. Um, the production process for me is a fun one. Usually start with like some kick drums and then add loops, drum loops from there. And then um, move on to working with a musician like my man Neil Conway or Gary Hudgens or Real Soul out of LA. And then we, uh, then we go and we get singers and songwriters to put some other magic on what it is that uh, we initially do. So um, the production process is a good one. It's a really, really good one. And um, if you're called to do it and you feel music in your heart, um, I pray that uh, you will see it through. God will definitely give you everything that you need in order to be prosperous uh, in the music industry should it be something that uh, God has led you to do. So um, I would say um, as, a, as a young producer uh, or a novice producer that um, you should just start simple. Buy yourself a nice program um, that you can work with um, that's easy enough to work with. You don't have to jump in and try and do something like Pro Tools or anything like that right away. It's probably a bit much. But uh, you know, start with a small program. Learn to work what you have. Um, it's always important to make sure you master what it is that you have. You don't, uh, you know, I mean, when we started, we really didn't have much, uh, but we learned how to use what we had. And um, now, you know, we, we're able to uh, use other things because we learned the fundamentals on things. Um, that we knew how to use um, and that were simple enough uh, that we could uh, master uh, the process. Um, once you do that, you know, you have to learn how to work with others. You know, working with others is a really important thing. Um, so you have to learn how to play well with people um, and, you know, not try to, you know, even though computers and the way that the music industry is sort of set up now, um, you can kind of do things all on your own, but I don't think that that is uh, really something that uh, you should uh, just fall into learning to do things on your own. It's always good uh, to work with other people, to collaborate with other people, and that will help with the learning process. So those are my tidbits for being a producer, and um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I wish you all good happy music making dj spin and i'm out wow so there you have it wow you heard from a lot of good people today a lot of good people is doing like major things you know so um hopefully that motivated you hopefully i motivate you um we're gonna get to work next week so hopefully um have some things to think about um, watch this video as much as you want, parents. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, we will. I will see you next week, ready to work. Give it up, Joe. All right, y'all stay safe. Stay safe, stay healthy, y'all. It's dangerous out here right now. All right, until next week. Neil, I'm out.